we have a real humdinger of an emergency, and gadzooks, do I need your help. As you know, our headliner this weekend is the famed masked magician. Last night, in front of an audience, he performed his signature vanishing act, and not only did it leave the entire crowd gobsmacked, but he seems to have actually vanished. I need you to search his dressing room, see if he's left behind any clues or a trail you can follow. I hadn't even heard of escape rooms probably until, my, until last year, my junior year. Yeah, I had no idea what one was, or what you did, or what it meant. In 60 minutes, the curtain goes up. The show must go on. You have to find him. I think the lights are going on. Oh, okay. Okay. Whoa, this is unreal. There are cameras for every space. Um, you know, at several different angles. We can see and hear people at all times. What? The magic wand. The magic wand. So it was uh, Andy Bennett and Richard Hansen and myself got together, and we were going to be a haunted house. And when I got to the meeting, they were like, by the way, that idea is totally scratched. We're going to do an escape room. And I sat there fuming. I was like, an escape room? I don't want to do an escape room. What is it? What is an escape room? I'm going to escape this meeting. You know, I was not pleased. Um, but we decided, you know what? Let's go check it out. So we each played a different room down in the cities and had three very different experiences. And the concept, suddenly I saw, oh my gosh. This has the potential to be like an immersive experience. Behind that door? No, I don't know. Can you touch it at all? I don't think maybe we're supposed to do okay. that. Wait, but it's this, but it opens the door. Maybe, maybe it, we have to do the spell and then something will happen behind the door. It says... We did our very first game and, you know, I think I mentioned to you that we thought, you know, maybe we'll be open for a month. You know, maybe we'll do a month. And it was so popular that people said, so when is the next one? Like, oh God, we got to do this again? <laughs> like the first one was such an undertaking. And so we said, okay, let's write another one. And everything that we've done has been sort of locally related. Um, every game has something to do with Duluth or local life. So for me, I grew up in Lakeside here in Duluth. I remember my fourth grade year. It was my first year of dance did a uh, dance to New Kids on the Block step by step that I chose to do for the talent show. <laughs> and the, uh, the crap I got for dancing to New Kids on the Block and the talent show, especially being a boy, you know, um, I laugh about it now. At the time it was like, I should never have done this. There are some of those early stories that uh, kind of made me feel, I don't know that I really want to stay here. So I, I've had the opportunity to, uh, to wait tables, and I've had the opportunity to dance on several stages across the country. So to come back and discover that the arts are really taking root here and growing in ways that I never anticipated, uh, that was so inspiring to me. It let me know this was the right choice. So that's why I've wanted to stay, you know? I thought maybe I'll move home and go to the cities, but I was like, you know what? I don't want to live in another big city. I want to stay and be great to make a difference in my community. And my career was definitely unique to me, but maybe I have something unique to give back. The games uh, that we have playing right now and basically that we've always done have lots of hidden rooms, secret compartments, surprises, things that are like, oh my God, there's more. <laughs> What? Uh, what? How did you do that? It's such an accessible experience because everyone loves solving puzzles. Everyone loves finding solutions. There's that like automatic high you get from doing it and it just builds that teamwork and being able to escape into a different world. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay. We want you to feel like you are in the action, um, that you are, that you exist in a world outside of the world on the other side of the door. You know, that um, for this one hour you get to be somebody else and you have to discover what rules apply in the world that you're playing in um, and kind of get lost with people that you enjoy spending time with. Oh, here it is. Right here. Ah. Go. Five minutes, stage hands, just five minutes left. I get excited. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. You start on, you have like no idea what's happening and you get all those 
puzzles and pieces that you have to piece together. Congratulations, stagehands! Oh my god. Nice. Oh, the nice. show is on! Way to go! I knew you could do it! I love this. I really love this town. And I wow. am sh I'm just as shocked as anybody else that might have moved away thinking this was not the place for them. Um, you know, but the city has embraced me and taken really good care of me. So it's just, I just want to repay the favor.